All right, morning, Steve. Good morning. to see you. Uh, last Saturday's a pretty special day at the VBS. Obviously, good performance from the boys. Got to got to wear that lovely new aubergine kit, and uh, most importantly, got the, got the three points. How, how's the mood been in the camp the last few days? Yeah, like, as you can imagine, it's been good. Um, I was going to ask him if we can carry on wearing the kit. So, uh, <laughs> um, no, no, it was a good day for the football club. I think everyone involved enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Um, players enjoyed it. The staff enjoyed it. The fans enjoyed it. Um, um, yeah, it was a it was it was a good day and for a great cause as well. So, um, yeah, look, really good day. Um, the players have, have have been good all week. Um, but yeah, reality reality hits. Um, yeah, once we come back to work, because obviously we we know we've still got a massive job to do, and uh, yeah, got final number three of the eight. So uh, yeah, we're working towards sorted now. Nice. And at the uh, at the end of the game, we saw uh, Vinny Toon make his, his EFL debut. A nice one for the club, obviously, because he's come through the ranks at the Sutton Colts and then the academy, and obviously making his his EFL debut. How, how impressive have you been with, with the young man? Yeah, no, look, he's excellent. He deserved a chance. Uh, he's been doing really well for the under 18s and um, uh, yeah, look, we have the lads up here once, twice a week. Um, the ones who are, who are <coughs> performing really well. Um, so yeah, look, any of them stand out and, and uh, we want to give them an opportunity and we feel like they can uh, make an impact in the squad, then we will. And uh, um, the opportunity arose at the weekend to um, to have him involved in the squad, have, have him on the bench with Leanne Gold joining Woking. Um, and yeah, luckily we got to a position in the game where it was comfortable enough to uh, to give him his debut. So uh, I wanted it to be a little bit earlier, but we got sloppy and considered a goal. Um, but yeah, look, really pleased for him to get his debut and uh, yeah, weren't far away from Murray not being offside and possibly having an attack in. So, uh, um, yeah, no, it was a great day for him and the football club and his family. So, you're yeah, really pleased. Excellent. Yeah, you, you touched on it briefly there. Uh, we've had a couple of loans out. Um, Lee Angle joining Woking on loan and, and Jack Taylor making a match winning return to Hornchurch the other night, scoring a 96 minute winner. Um, you must be pretty happy with where the squad's at in terms of the bodies. Um, just looking in a pretty good shape now. With yeah, look, lads, are, lads are doing well. Uh, they're fit, they're firing. Um, Opportunity for Lee to go and play games, um, and Jack Taylor, uh, yeah, got the opportunity for him to go back and experience um, winning and uh, uh, being a champion, which is what they all do very, very shortly. And uh, it'll be a great experience for him to go and be a part of that. And uh, yeah, for him to go in there at the last minute and start the game and play so well um, and score a winning goal was brilliant for him. And uh, yeah. He's, uh, he's been getting some stick this morning because uh, he's only talking about his goal, not about the two he missed. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, look, it's great. It's great for the, the, the lads um, getting game time, uh, which is needed, especially in the development phase. Yeah, you touched on it earlier as well. You said, we said two weeks ago when we were before, did before Forest Green, you said got eight cup finals. You've now ticked off two of those, most importantly the wins. But do you feel like the performance levels are where they need to be for a, a cup final type performance from the Saturday United so? Yeah, look, I think... In moments, yeah. Uh, don't think we started the game on. Um, well, we did start the game actually okay on on Saturday. Um, we should have had a penalty in the first four minutes, uh, which I had acknowledged by the league after. Uh, I know it doesn't change anything, but obviously I asked the question and they said yeah they got it wrong. So, um, which is fine. Uh, luckily, it didn't matter because obviously we performed, but then after that penalty, we lost our composure for 10, 15 minutes and they had a couple of uh, big moments and Steve Arnold produced a couple of really good saves. Um, and then once we got the goal, we gained a bit more composure and we kind of went on from there. So uh, um, yeah, still there's lots to improve. That's what we're working on all the time. Uh, can we start the game better? Uh, next test is Salford um, on a big weekend where two games in four days, so we're going to need everybody. Uh, everyone will play, everyone will be involved. Um, and yeah, we need to we need to manoeuvre ourselves through these two games and come up with uh, a positive points tally, and uh, then we build a stop ball. So, um, yeah, tough test, Salford. Um, they picked up the form the last couple of games off the back of a few poor results. Um, got the top goal scorer in the league, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, we need to be on it. Excellent, and we got a couple of lads coming back, Duki, of course, and uh, and Dion back from international duty. Um, otherwise, squad fitness, we're all we're all good, are we? Yeah, Jay, Jay, Duki, and Dion all come back fine. Um, so yeah, in a good spot. No, no changes from um, from the last game, apart from adding a couple of players. So uh, yeah, decisions to be made, and uh, uh, always good to have those options.
Nice. And looking specifically to, to Salford, obviously they're another team that changed manager at the start of the year. Carl Robinson coming in, they've sort of looked to kind of steady the ship a little bit there. What, what kind of threat do you think they're, they're going to pose? I was oh, going to say Saturday, but it's Friday. It's Friday, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I've been saying it all week. I thought it was Friday today. But um, yeah, no, look, they're, they're a threat. Um, I said they've got top gosh on the team, got lots of energy, the pound the front foot. Um, got a good manager who's come in and steadied the ship. And obviously uh, they're in that, they're in that area where kind of you could face anything on Friday. You could face someone on holiday or you could face someone who's, who's just so relaxed and calm that they can just go about their business how they want to. So, uh, um, yeah, look, it's a tough test. We, we, we will, we will, they'll be prepared as they can be. Um, but ultimately, they've got, to, they've got to turn up and fight for the football club. And uh, uh, as long as they keep doing that, I think we've uh, got half a chance. Nice. Well, best of luck for cup final number three. Let's bring home the points. Cheers, Tom. Thank you.